Let's move on to the Jackson inject annotation, which is used to inject a value into the deserialized instance. The Jackson inject annotation marks the property that will be injected during the deserialization process. Optionally, a name value can be passed into the annotation in order to direct the injection of the property value. We will see examples of both in this video. Okay, let's see the JSON we're going to deserialize and the value we want to inject. This JSON snippet represents an author. However, the JSON data does not specify an author ID. This could be implemented by auto-generating an ID in the class constructor itself, or alternatively, we could inject the ID into the instance during deserialization. This is especially useful if the author ID is generated by another system, perhaps by a database or a cache. Okay, so let's switch to the code view and see the author class. As you can see, the author class has an ID field, and it's this field we want to inject a value into. So let's annotate the field Jackson inject. We have a second author class, and in this class we want to add the same annotation, but this time it will be passed a name that matches exactly the field name. We could also annotate other methods in a similar manner if we wanted to inject other values during deserialization. Okay, let's jump to the unit test. We have two unit tests, one for each author class. The first unit test uses the ID's field type to find the right field in the author class. In this case, it is not necessary to pass the field name to the annotation. Of course, if there were more than one field of this type, there would be a conflict and you would have to pass to the annotation the relevant field names. The second test uses the name passed to the annotation to identify the right field. And as you can see, we are also passing the same name to the add value method. In both unit tests, we are reading the JSON data into an author class and then asserting that it matches the one we injected. Right, let's run the tests and check that this assertion is true. And yes, as you can see, the tests have passed, meaning that the ID has been injected correctly. Right, let's move on to the next Jackson annotation.